What's going on guys? So I am out here in Dallas, Texas at the AT&T Stadium and I ran across a really cool product and we're going to talk about this. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've ran across the B&W booth, and you guys know I'm a huge fan of B&W products. I use B&W products. I have a companion hitch. I've used several of them. I also use the Tow and Stow on several of the vehicles. Um, and in front of me is a very unique product. This is a, a revolutionary product because Correct. it kind of reinvents the way we think of weight distribution. Absolutely. So with me, I have Ken Tacklett. I have Ken with B and W, and he's going to kind of explain just how this works, how weight distribution is accomplished utilizing this. Now, is this also sway control as well? It is. Anytime you stabilize your load, especially with the weight, that helps with. Uh, Wake control. control. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I can I can see a little bit of what's going on here, but I don't want to mess up. So I'm going to let you kind of just sure. work me through how this system works, if you wouldn't mind. So right now it's set up to connect or disconnect, and why I'm saying that's bled completely off. So to disconnect, you have a release point here, and you pull that back, and then you put it on that hanger. Okay. And when you're ready to hook back up, it slides right in and locks up. And again, that's with this attachment here. Uh, you don't have any friction points like a traditional where you have the bars, the solid bars that you have to snap into place and adjust for certain weights. This is one product does it all. So there's one set. Okay. The other side of it is the spring bars I just did. You're only looking at about 22 pounds. So yeah, they're anybody, composite, aren't they? They're composite. So anybody, and those actually uh, started life as uh, leaf springs on like the Mercedes Sprinter vans. Okay. And okay. the mono leaf system. And then they went into the industrial side of the great big X amount of ton dump trucks that went to the composite leaf springs. Okay. So uh, we went with those. Of course, we've been testing this. It's taken us six years to get to this point mm -hmm. with testing and the RD. Uh, and then here we are. So traditional. When I say traditional weight distribution sway control, usually consists of some long metal spring bars. Correct. That sit on top of L brackets, and it uses the downward pressure as friction points against friction your L brackets. Points. And then sometimes they create friction up here at the head as well. Right. And the whole goal, again, is to limit that hinging effect between the truck exactly. and trailer, trailer and truck. So how is BMW accomplishing both weight control okay. and sway control? So when we put the pressure down onto the ram, which is setting those spring bars. So it's, it's hydraulic. This hydraulic, exactly. So you're screwing in your bleed valve, bring this over, and then you're applying the pressure. Now, it'd be more uh, dynamic if we had a trailer, actually, yeah. trailer weight. No, but I see what's going see, on here. We're actually bringing it up. So you'll have the weight of the truck, and weight of the camper, and that's where the spring yep. bars coming in effect. You're creating that arching bone that's right. effect between And then the with this pressure point, pushing down on that, it's locking it in. That is very cool. So from a sway control perspective, it's the balance on both sides. It's the balance and, and the energy that you have stored right here exactly. after you pump this up, which makes that much more difficult That's to actually right. pivot. Yes, and like I said, there's the play's in the display, of course. Yeah, but it's, it's locked into place. Very cool. But without the friction points. So, so you don't have that popping and grinding. Yeah, from dialing it into the right height, I guess from an installation perspective, you still have to make sure you have your, your coupler, your shank position right, properly. Right, as your first starting point. Yep. And then you also have the adjustability of the ram. Okay. And, which is all in the structures, how to set it up, very simple. Once you get that set up, we'll have it where uh, a, a diagram basically says if you have a 4,000 pound trailer, put it at 250 PSI okay. as a starting point. And that's going to be based on your, your gauge that's exactly. included. Yes. Okay, does everything come already, I guess, pre-bled? Is it already set up? All ready to go. The only thing you have to do is mount this bracket for the pump, this bracket for the ram, and then the bracket just to hang the spring arm assembly on. Okay, I guess from a compatibility perspective, because there's all sorts of different trailers, different A-frames. I mean, you know, this is your traditional, what, six inch A-frame right, right here? It, we go clear down to four okay. and all the way up to eight. Oh, so you can go all the way up to eight. Right. There's only there's uh, there's only one thing that won't work on. There's some trailers that have a center bar. Okay. Runs through here, and as of right now, this won't work on that because of where the ram's located. Okay. Have you ran into scenarios with even some of the conventional travel trailers that are here that that you besides that issue where there's a clearance problem because of propane lines, there's a clearance problem because the spacing between the front tongue jack and and where your propane right. might be. All we need is a minimum of two inches behind the jack, okay. which is normally you have your plate where your jack's at. So as long as we got two inches, 
we could put that in there. Um, the only issue could be possibly is the propane bottles, and then if you have a battery, yeah, with a short uh, neck. Yep. So you may have to move things. You may have your trailer breakaway. You may have, you know, your power dist your power box right, right here. You may right. have to move some things around. But what you've got plenty of adjustment. I mean, because the you got plenty of adjustment. Oh with yeah, your because you don't have so. a distance. You have to set this back to as long as right. There's no line. set distance, right? Okay, that's correct. Now, from an installation difficulty perspective, and I'm going to start this with saying I've installed a lot of weight distribution hitches before, mm -hmm. and from the most basic weight distribution hitch, it's going to take you to dial it in and get it where you want probably at least an hour. Okay. And that's from the point of putting the shank in to the point of getting everything bolted up where it needs to go, understanding where everything needs to mount, putting your spring bars in place, taking right. all your measurements yep. front and back, and then dialing it in. And oftentimes when you set up a traditional weight distribution hitch, you kind of have to get to the end point to realize that, oh, I need another washer, or I need to Correct. add one or remove one or do this, yeah. and it kind of makes you go back to the beginning a little bit. Right. So and, and that's what's a bonus on this, is you have your basic 30-minute setup. Okay. You know, time you put your shank in. Real reali realistically, 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 30 because minutes. Because every bolt and nut is one size for inch. Okay. It's all the same. So you measure it, I mean, put it where you can, where it needs to be. The same with this bracket. So if, And everything else is pretty simple. So it's just like the shake. Plug and play, you adjust your height on it, and then your ram, which is in the neutral position, which is going to be the majority of your vehicles. It just depends on how much droop you actually have. Okay. And then, once you have this initial setup, it's however long it takes for you to hook up your safety chains, plug it in, and pump it up to your side pressure. Okay, so first buyer, it went like for instance, I'm going to evaluate this at some point. Absolutely. They're sending it to me. Once I get this and I put this on a trailer, once I unbox it, because unboxing always takes a good 30 minutes, <laughs> but once you get everything unboxed, unwrapped from all the cellophane and plastic and paper, you get it laying out. You believe 30 minutes. Me, I can get this installed in 30 minutes. As long as you know righty tighty, lefty loosey, 30 okay. minutes. That's a that's a bold claim. Well, it's, so yeah, it, the hoses are all hooked. Yeah, everything. I mean, you don't have to add fluid to it or nothing. How so much you know, is the uh, the hitch head assembly weigh? You know, uh, I think that's believe it's right about thirty five to forty pounds. Okay, so it's even relatively compared light to, compared to most. Yeah, that is very cool. Yep. Well, I definitely look forward to checking this thing out and actually testing it because, you know, honestly, it's 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 so revolutionarily unique. That's the key. You don't that, see this type of setup. I've never seen anything like this. I know when when some other companies came out with their their interesting design, you look at it and you're like. I see how that works, but this one really takes you kind of focusing in on it a little bit to figure out how exactly does that work. I mean, you can see where the RAM is, you can see that it's hydraulic, you can see that you have some, you have some what are these going to be called? Uh, spring arms. Oh, your spring arms. Yep. Um, same terminology, but you know, it's going to be interesting to see how well it works. Absolutely. And I can tell when you pumped it up right here. Can you bleed it off real quick? Sure. So you just this. So you can see the process of what's going on here. Ultimately, these are pressing up in this area. This is essentially pulling, and it's creating that effect, which moves weight from the front of your trailer back of your truck to the front of your truck back of your trailer. Yep. So the concept is all the same. The execution on this is just so completely different than I've ever seen before. So I'm really excited to test this, this thing out. I see grease zerks everywhere. Yep. And then the other minor thing is that you can still back up with this attached. Yeah, that's a big thing. That's not a minor you thing. You can yeah. also hook up to it, and you don't have to be directly on because of this swivel point here. Oh, yeah. So this so is your, your truck can be point set there. like that. Yes, because there's your locking point. Okay, yeah. That's very cool. Um, man, I almost might see if I can get you to come down and actually help me install the thing the first time just so I know I don't mess up. Hey, yeah. But that is really, really cool, my friend. Okay, so... Uh, price point it's uh $12.99 so that's actually that's right up there with most of your other there premium you weight distribution setups and so. there's actually uh four part numbers because you have different shank size you got two inch two and a half yep and then we'll have a two inch two and a half with the underslung coupler okay so the different type of right, coupler. So now there's a four part numbers are there any variations in weight capacities no Okay, what's the maximum ton weight capacity you have 1600. on 1600. That's pretty much every yep. every conventional trailer you're going to have out there. Very, very cool, man. I'm uh, super excited about this thing. I've been monitoring the progress of it, and honestly, I don't know why I don't have one yet to test, but I'm going to be uh, be putting this thing to the test pretty soon. Very, very cool. Hey, I really appreciate your time. Oh, thank you for no, coming on the channel. Thank you. Appreciate it.
Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again real soon. And I'm pretty sure my, uh, my sponsors over at eTrailer probably carry this product. Absolutely.